Hey y'all, it's Alex from You Should Craft, and today I'll show you how to crochet the windowpane stitch. Um, so I do like to bookend this stitch with double crochets. Um, so these solid rows are not technically part of the windowpane stitch, but I did use them in my pattern for the windowpane cardigan. Um, so if you're following this tutorial to be able to make that cardigan, you'll want to make sure that you do include the double crochet rows in the middle. But this is a pretty easy stitch. It's made using fillet crochet, which means that it's just a combination of double crochets and chains that give it these window panes um, that are in the middle. And so there's like solid, I guess, doors <laughs> and then sets of window panes. So you can crochet this with any hook and any yarn. For this project, I used Paintbox Cotton DK. Um, the color is light caramel, and you can get this from Love Crafts. And then I also used an H crochet hook from Burl's Crochet. All right, so to get started, um, the first thing we're gonna do is chain a multiple of 11 plus two. And that's if you're using two chains for your turning chain. Um, if you use three chains for your turning chain, then you'll need an extra chain to start off with. So I've changed 22, but remember I need that multiple of 11 plus two. So I'm actually gonna add two more to this. And so now we can get started. So I'm gonna do a solid row of double crochets. Um, this is not technically part of the windowpane stitch, but it does provide a good base for your project. Um, and if you're following along for the window pane cardigan, like I said before, this is part of that. So for most things, I like to crochet in the back bump. Um, so if you look at your chain, there's these little V's on the front and you'll turn it over. So now it kind of looks like chain links. And so here's one, two, and we're crocheting into the third chain's back bump. And I've already messed this up because <laughs> we're doing double crochets. So you'll yarn over, um, put your hook into the back bump of that third chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through those last two stitches. And then so going down the row, You'll put your hook into that back bump. And finish your double crochet. And make sure your yarn's in the right place. Mine is kind of getting tangled. And so you'll just crochet, double crochets into the back bumps all the way down your starting chain. So go ahead and finish off your row number one. And then when we come back, I'll show you how to actually get started on the window pane. So I finished crocheting all of my double crochets into row one. For this example, um, where my multiple of 11 plus two was 22 plus two, um, I now have 23 stitches. 
And getting that odd number is really important for the repeat just so that it can end on a double crochet. And you'll see why in a minute once we get going with this. But all right, so to start row two, you're going to chain two. And for this pattern, the chain two is going to count as a double crochet. So you can skip this stitch because you're already done and then move into the next one. And we're gonna double crochet in the next five stitches. So here's one, two, three, four, five, and six double crochets. Or sorry, <laughs> only five. We, our sixth one <laughs> is this first chain two. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And this creates kind of that like door or that solid part of the first section of our window pane. So now we're gonna work on the window pane cart part, which is created with chains that leave an open square. So you'll chain two, and then you'll skip these two double crochets. So skip, skip, and you'll double crochet in the third stitch from your hook. So here's our first open square. And then you will repeat that process. So chain two again, skip, skip, and you'll double crochet right here. So yarn over, skip, skip, and double crochet. So there's our window. And then for this, um, since I did two multiple or my multiple 11 was two times 11. So I'm going to do this same thing two times total. So I've got one more time left. And so here I've already got the first double crochet of my section of six solid double crochets. So I just need five more. So here's two total three, four, five, and six. And then now we need another window pane section. So those open ones. So we'll chain two, skip the next two. So skip, skip, and we'll put our double crochet here. Chain two again, yarn over. And then this one you're actually gonna end up doing in the top of your turning chain from the previous row. So skip, skip these real life double crochets. And then I find that the turning chains are a little bit tougher to get your hook into, but yarn over, pull through, and then finish off that double crochet. And so here's row two of our sample, but this is the first row that's actually doing the window pane stitch. So we need two rows to complete kind of each repeat of this, but you can see that here are like the bottoms of our windows. So when we crochet our next row, we'll have two more window panes up here and then like kind of the rest of our doors or walls. So in order to make the window pane at the start, you're gonna need to crochet, or sorry, to chain four. So one, two, three, four. 
And so that four, two of it is your turning chain and two of it is your chain two for the skipping section. So we'll skip these two chains from before and we'll crochet into the top of our double crochet from the previous row. So here's one of our window panes and this will kind of shape up when you add another row to the top of it in case you're like, well, it's kind of a triangle right now. <laughs> um, so don't worry about that because we'll be putting a double crochet in it at the end of the next row and that'll square it up. But so just to continue our pattern, you'll chain two again, yarn over, put your hook in, double crochet, and then there's your whole first like window pane. So now we're repeating this solid section again. You're gonna do the exact same thing as before. Um, just putting a double crochet on top of each of these double crochets. So you'll have six total. We've already got one. Here's two. Five and six. So that is our first repeat for this row. And we're just gonna do the exact same thing right here. So chaining two, double crocheting on top of this double crochet. And once you get going, um, you can almost skip counting. I still highly recommend it just to make sure you're on track. Uh, but once you've got your window panes going, you can pretty much see like what you're gonna need to do next. So again, we're just putting another section of double crochets over these ones right here. So we've already got our first one and here's two, three, four, whoop, five, And our sixth one is gonna go in the top of that turning chain from the previous row. And sometimes if you made your chains a little tight, you'll kind of have to jam your hook in there. But here is, this is three rows. Um, for those of you that are following along for the window pane cardigan, or two rows if you're just learning how to do the window pane stitch. Um, the next thing we're going to do is put on two more rows that are opposite of these. So we'll be putting a window right here on top of this door. Um, we'll be putting like a door that's solid, like right on top of the windows. And then another window right here. And so once you know that, it makes it pretty easy to do it again. <laughs> because you can like visualize what you need where. So we're starting off with chaining four, just like we did on the previous row over here. And that gives us our turning chain two and the chain two we need to skip two stitches. So you'll skip two and you'll put your hook in. Chain two, and then again, you're just kind of following 
along. Um, for my corners, it ends up looking a little bit like I've only skipped one when I do this kind of row on top of the solids. And I'm not totally sure why it ends up like that. I think that for me, I just don't like <laughs> crocheting like into the chains. So this is easiest for me. You could totally put your stitch here in the chain. But so I kind of end up skipping one here and then putting my window just so it falls exactly on the like door that you're putting it on. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> Um, but so now I've got my window and so now on top of this window from before, I'm going to put my solid double crochet section and I just go into the chain space for these. Uh, I find that it's hard to crochet into the chains and this, it can also kind of end up looking a little bit messy, um, depending on how consistent you are with like the tension on your chains. So putting the stitches in the chain space, so putting your hook here instead of in here, um, it can just kind of clean it up a little bit. But so I've just got a couple more left. So two, four, six, and then now I can see already that I need another window pane section. So I'll chain two, skip two, There's my window pane. Oh, this one keeps. And then I just have my six solid double crochets coming up here. And I've already got my first one. So I'll put two more in this chain space. And then instead of going in the chain space for this one, I do go into the chain, like actual chain stitch. And the only reason for that is just because that's what I've done throughout my project. And so I just want it to be consistent throughout. And it also helps to square it up and make sure that your, um, like when you put the stitches in the chain space, they can kind of move around a little bit. And when they're blocked in on either side by your project, it's not really a big deal, but for something on the edge, if you want like a straight edge, you don't want to have like a, a wiggly stitch. So that's why we go into the chain, but only on that last one. Um, but so that is our fourth total row and we just need one more in order to finish up this like repeat of our window panes. So we'll put solid double crochets here, another window pane here, solid and window pane. So I'm just doing those six double crochets and remember that your turning chain counts as the first double crochet. Oops, that stitch came undone.
So there's our six. And now we're gonna do our next window pane section. So I've already chained two, double crochet in the middle. And I'm finishing up this next solid section. And hopefully you're starting to see what I mean about being able to predict what's coming next. So I just put my double crochet, double crochet kind of like door or wall section on top of this. And then now I just have one more window pane section left. So I'll chain two double crochet in the middle. Chain two more. And then I'll put my double crochet in the top of that turning chain from the previous row. So this is this part is two repeats of your window pane. Um, and if you were creating a project that only had window panes, you would just continue these four rows until you got to the desired size for your project. Um, I'm going to show you what I did for my window pane cardigan, um, which is where I just put another row of double crochets, which gives me a repeat of five rows. So four window pane, one double crochet, and those repeat until the project is concluded. So you can go ahead and just put your double crochets um, into here. Again, we're going into the chain spaces and not the chains themselves. And you'll just double crochet across this entire row. And make sure that you count it when you're done, but you should still have um, the same number of stitches from when you started. So for me, I should still have 23. Um, oops, because I did two repeats of 11. And however many repeats you did, just make sure that you have the right amount of stitches. And then you'll just double crochet across the entire thing. Um, I always kind of have to watch myself when I'm doing these rows because it's so easy to get back in the habit of like continuing the window pane. So there's been a lot of times where I've like <laughs> done my six here and then I've started to chain two and like continue. Um, so just make sure you're checking yourself to make sure you're like actually doing a full row of solid double crochets. But that is it for the window pane stitch. So you can go ahead and practice this on your own. Um, be sure to leave a comment if you crochet this and send me your pictures, tag me on Instagram. And I would love for you to subscribe to the You Should Craft channel for more tutorials and crochet patterns. But thank you so much for watching.